So here we go. We'll speak for a little bit about how you might work with college advisors to recruit and sustain students in your course. And then on March 9th, I'll meet with you for a little bit and we could dig into your unique scenarios. Um, as you can imagine, this is kind of a um, 30,000 foot view and based on what we've learned. So in 2015, we'd been doing this um, Counselors for Computing project for a while and got some anecdotal information that we wanted to follow up and find out more. Um, for instance, counselors often told us, well, you know, I didn't come up through a STEM pathway, so I don't feel real confident in guiding towards STEM. So we thought, well, to what degree is this true? And we found out in our pilot study, which is actually underway as a larger study now, that counselors generally came up through a social science or humanities um, program themselves. Um, for the high school level anyway, a lot of them get degrees in education or psychology before getting their um, counseling certification. So we figured that that might have implications for their readiness to guide toward computer science. And we've planned our program um, accordingly. And you might take some tips from this. One thing we've done is we've made sure to introduce counselors to computer science in a memorable and sticky way. So this is a picture of counselors in Irvine, California, and they are trying their hand at code.org activities. Just trying to get across a sense of what computational thinking is and what it takes out of you um, seems to have been really helpful and this is a was a memorable experience for people. It also suggests you might do an unplugged activity. Um, maybe you could drop by the counselor's office with um, uh, one of Tim Bell's unplugged activities. This was at a conference and um, we actually had a young woman guiding counselors through this um, sorting networks activity. It's great to show that computer science can be fun and sometimes it doesn't even require a computer. Um, bringing your students into the conversations around your courses is um, a, a tip that we advise. Um, one thing, counselors might not know about the composition of your class and maybe you should take a picture over and show them what your class looks like and talk about your goals for how you'd like to change that. This is a picture of Brown University. It's a hackathon um, and I dare you to find the female in this picture. Um, so if you're, can't, if you're working on class composition as you're trying to broaden participation, just sharing your goals and um, what your class looks like right now um, is great for being able to set goals together and strategize how to address them. You might also share what your courses are like. Um, this is an example from CS Principles um, where it gets across the cross-cutting computational thinking practices, the big ideas, and what I'd try to do is relate some of the ideas that are expressed in your course or developed in your course to things that happen out in the world. For instance, um, in the, when the big idea around data and information, you might share the um, stories of how big data gets manipulated um, and through database with what your students learn about databases in, in your course, for instance. Um, so show that um, CS is more than programming. Um, advisors might have a sense that students just code all day long, so let them know that there's a lot more context and um, the computer science is much more. Um, you might take a, that last treatment was a little dry. You might um, do a treatment like this where um, the Exploring Computer Science folks made this pretty jazzy poster. Um, it's helpful for recruiting kids um, directly and um, it would be useful for school counselors or advisors to be able to see this to understand your courses better. Um, yet another tip is to have students plan a gallery walk to share their computer science projects. One of the great things about computing, um, computer science is it's project based so there are artifacts of learning that come from it. So having students share what they're learning and what they like about their learning with advisors might be helpful. Um, another thing that we've wondered is whether counselors have a idea of who's right for computing. So when a student walks in their door, do they cast them as somebody who might benefit from a computer science education. We asked counselors in the same study who was right for computing and as you imagine they said things like students who are high achieving in math and science. What they did not say was that 
um, they did not imagine that it was a creative endeavor and only 9% said that um, they thought creative students would benefit from a computer science education. So any ways you can get across the creativity that's involved or the overlaps of computing into co creative endeavors like um, uh, into graphic design and um, maybe e-textiles or robotics where there's personal expression uh, that, that, that would um, flesh out their view of um, computing and who's right for it. Here's an example of a young woman who was involved in art history. She learned computer science and developed software that aids in the restoration of ancient artworks. So showing that what can come out of computer science that's expressed in the world could be helpful. And here's a tip from Oregon State University. They decided to um, poach students from different majors so they went to where the women are in STEM and that tends to be in psychology and biology so they made this card that they passed around just to help students understand that with a dual major or a major and minor or with just some computer science experience how that might inform their work as um, as biology as um, psychologists people in psychology fields. Another question I wonder is whether your advisors know the outcomes for your grads. Um, either they might know, have data and statistics, but do they know a person? Can you tell the story of a person who left your program and went on to an interesting job? That might stick with them. So share stories of the graduates who go on to meaningful work, whether it's with a a degree or with a certification or whether they um, continue on to um, a four-year program. Just share um, what's happened to your students and get them excited about what, um, what a computer science education affords your students. Finally, I'd like to suggest that you use some NCWIT resources. We can get these into your hands. On the left is a poster that shows no matter what your entry into computer science, whether it's from high school or from the military or, or from, from the workforce, um, you can take steps through computer science that result in um, being able to join the computing workforce. Um, and then at the very bottom, that shows some of the um, job titles and um, wages that are available once you have your computer science degree. And um, similarly, on the right, this is the two sides of our pathway card for computer science. It starts out what, by um, kind of centering on the reader's experience. So it asks a student, are you somebody who wants to get to work quicker? Um, is obliged to stay near home to get your education, um, has some work-life challenges that make computer science work better for you, and then go on and you might want to enroll in a community college program and study computing in these ways. And then again on the back it shows some of the jobs available um, out of community college, um, the growth of those jobs, and then the wages that they pay. So we'd be happy to get these materials into your hands. Finally, we always um, show the code.org video called What Most Schools Don't Teach in our Counselors for Computing workshops. And again and again, counselors, um, when we debrief at the end, counselors say, you know, th this quote by Vanessa Hurst really resonated. And she says, if someone had told me that the software is really about humanity, that it's really about helping people by using computer technology, it would have changed my outlook earlier. Um, so just getting across messages like this to, to um, th these are things that um, advisors care about. They care about um, human potential, getting people into um, meaningful jobs, um, and where there are jobs, um, which is um, we know the tech fields, um, you're more likely to be able to find work um, than in other career sectors. Just getting this inf kind of information across to counselors would be great.